Hi, this is Tara Marino of Elegant Femme. So I'm coming to you from a very special location. It's not uh, the base of the French Alps, a little bit further south. I happen to be in Provence at the very tail end of our rendezvous experience. The rendezvous is an opportunity that we create for women to step into their Frenchie in a way that they never thought possible. And what I want to talk to you about today is the opportunity as a woman to invest in yourself. And this is something that, you know, as I've gone through my own journey, I've learned what it really takes to invest in yourself as a woman and what it really feels like when you open up that piece of yourself and say yes in an exchange that you thought you might not be worthy of. And I thought, you know, what better way to share this information with you than to share a couple of my cremes with you who have come to the rendezvous. In fact, this is their second rendezvous and they came back to allow themselves this experience. And so think about yourself and your journey and what it feels like as a woman right before you're about to invest in, in yourself or if you're thinking about investing in yourself. And we kind of do that little teeter-totter like, maybe I should, I don't know if I should, oh my gosh, I did, <gasps> did I make the right decision, did I do the right thing, am I worth it, am I gonna get out of it, what I'm putting in? Have you ever felt that way before? Come on, really. What I want to teach you, and I want you to open up as a woman, is that when you invest in yourself as a woman, that's the gift. That's the gift. And whatever it is you receive from the actual investment, that's just icing. The opportunity to invest in yourself as a woman, that's what I want you to take a look at. So let me share with you one of my gorgeous, is this good um, visually? Okay. <laughs> this is Josephine. And she is a creme and she's coming back to the rendezvous. And what I wanted her to share is that first time when you're about to invest in yourself and what that feels like and all of the kind of voices inside your head when you say, um, this is not the right time to invest in myself and maybe I should do this instead. So can you just tell the women out there that are listening what that was like for you and, and give them a little more background on Absolutely. That? So, uh, like Tara was saying, um, when I um, got this opportunity, and I had an immediate yes inside, but, you know, I had just moved countries, I had all these reasons, real, real reasons to say no, and what am I doing, it's just not the right time, I have to, you know, get my kids situated, I need to, like, get my feet on the ground, but, you know, I just decided that I needed to go with my gut instinct and my gut and everything about um, what I was feeling was saying yes and so I just decided I was going to trust and it you know really has been life transforming it's been one of the most amazing experiences that I've ever had in my entire life so yeah and you know, let me ask you this because I didn't tell you I was going to ask you this but okay. it feels right to ask All you right, this so. now what happens when you want to invest in your life, mm -hmm. but the first thing that comes up is Oh my gosh, I can't afford to. Oh, right. And you have this incredible yeah. way of saying yes, even if you don't know how in the world this can happen. Yes. Those women are out there that are saying, oh sure, it's easy for all of you because you must have the money sitting there, an account by itself just waiting for that you to invest in yourself. Is that so, the case? yeah, no, <laughs> absolutely not. I mean, basically, I had left, I mean, I made. A transatlantic move so I moved from one country to another country and I had no idea you know I had no job I had no idea where I was going to be even living um, for a long term we had only a, a short-term um, rental situation happening and so you know the money was a real issue because I thought okay where on earth am I gonna you know find this but um, I just oh yeah I just basically um, went inside and I trusted that it would come because it was right. It was the right thing to do and I just, I surrendered. I surrendered and I just let go and I did it in faith mm -hmm. and yeah. I'm here again <laughs> for the second time. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank You're you. Welcome. So those of you that can resonate with the, it's not the right time and I don't have the capacity to do it and I'm getting rushed from behind the camera because this is just what I do. I could talk to you for the whole entire day. But I have some more gorgeous women I want to share with you. So come here. Hello, this is Sheila. 
okay? And Sheila, again, is a creme, and she's a returning member for the rendezvous, actually a crucial part, in fact, all of these women have been. And Sheila, what I want you to share is this piece of us as women who are so used to taking care of everybody else and putting ourselves on the back burner. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, what you've experienced and what you've shared with me is that we're so willing to invest in everyone else, especially our children. Mm -hmm. No problem, no questions asked. But mm -hmm. when it comes to us, so can you share mm -hmm. your truth in that and how you've switched that for yourself? Absolutely. So I met Tara last July, a year ago July, at the first um, AFI event. And she was talking about the, the creme experience and talked about the investment. And my first thought was like, no, I don't think I could. Hers was um, yes. <laughs> uh, but, it, but what's interesting, and I'm just going to be transparent here, is I had the money in my bank account. But I said no because what it meant like for me, right. no for me. And yet I could also feel this part of me that was like, but yeah, maybe. And then I had this thought, you know, if this was for my son, I would say yes like that because I have said yes like that to him. Whatever he wanted, I've moved away for his education. Multiple, multiple of what the investment yes. was for this yes. program. And I thought, well, I want to be willing to do for me what I was willing to do for him. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I had that thought, my no immediately turned into a yes. True, it's so important what you're saying because we don't, we don't think of ourselves like this, right? We all have people in our lives that we love, our kids, our spouses, and we know we would do anything for them. Doesn't matter what the cost is, move to another country, doesn't matter what hospital, whatever it is they need, we'll do that for them. Absolutely. And we'll find a way. Absolutely. We find a way, right? But when it comes to us, we're so easy to say, don't have the time, don't have the money, whatever easy excuse comes out. We stop ourselves right there, and Sheila is a glowing example of mm -hmm. investing in yourself. And did it improve your relationship with your son? So it so improved the relationship with my son because as soon as I took the program, I made some big changes in my life. I started um, acting and performing. I came back to some uh, loves, some parts of me that I had really left behind, and my son was so happy mm -hmm. to see me mm -hmm. so happy. And when I was talking about coming again this year, he's like, Mom, just do it. <laughs> he said, don't worry about me. I can't wait to meet I'm so you. happy oh, no. for you. <laughs> so it's that same lesson that we hear, but I have this visceral experience of when I take care of myself, when I'm in my joy, everyone around me benefits. And I set a beautiful example and give my son permission to live the same for his life. Mm, Sheila, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, you. come in here. Can we all squeeze in? The reason we're all squeezing in so tight, I don't know if you can see, but this house right here with the blue shutters and the gorgeous Provencal roof is where we're all staying. And I'm just like giving you a peek. There's quite a few more women running up and down those stairs in there finishing their boudoir photography shots. So, you know, the creme de la creme is what I took. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is Lori. Oh, Lori is an incredible woman that represents really this, this classic beauty and understands that as women, we don't just invest in ourselves once, okay? So what I want you to know is wherever you are on the level of investment, sometimes we invest in ourselves and we say, okay, that's good. I'm good now. I took care of myself once five years ago or even last year and we stop. And the process of investing in yourself as a woman continues. You want to continue to do it and continue to step into that space. And so Lori, I wanted her to talk to you about, she's done that. I mean, in so many ways, through education and through experiences. So can you share why, why do you continue, yeah, why do you continue to invest in yourself? Well, that's, that's easy because it's like coming back this time. And I went through this last year. So you would think, okay, Lori, you got it. Let me tell you, this is all brand new. Mm -hmm. This is all brand new. It's on a whole different level. This, is a, this isn't just like a one-time thing because, okay, here I arrive. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not arriving until they carry me out feet first. <laughs> <laughs> and I arrived and they plant me somewhere. But for now, I'm always going to be on there. And I hear you. You say, well, I already did this. I had this big investment. I already won all these yes. things. I did all this stuff. Yeah, but what are you going to do next? I'm 60. Yeah. One. I'm 60. I, I'm over 60. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's okay. I don't know how old my children are either. But um, I know. Uh, yeah, or my grandchildren. But anyway, what, what I'm saying is don't give up on you. Yeah. You know, you keep on. Because you're always something else. Something else you want to know. Mm -hmm. One of the things you said to me, and I just want to close with this because we're getting the little, the little, little masculine speak behind the camera, <laughs> is... You're in a new place each time you invest. Every time. Right? So after you've gone through, we, we tend to do this. We go through an experience and we say, well, gosh, I, I've done so much work on myself before, so I must be done. Every time you do a new thing, you're at a new place to, to receive right. it. Yeah? Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. So come here, ladies. So this mm -hmm. is just a peek of what goes on um, here at the rendezvous. And we wanted to say, um, you're worth it. You're worth it. You're worth, worth it. it. Oh, uh, and if you want to oh. leave a comment, no, that's good. Okay. Um, and I forget what I was going to ask you. So, how do you how do you feel when you invest in yourself mm -hmm. as a woman? Leave a comment below and share with us how you really feel when you invest in yourself as a woman. And now we will say, Oh, au revoir. Au revoir.